What's up, y'all? This is Jordan coming to you from Arthur Baca Pearl. You know, I'm going to do another video. Um, so today, I'm going to do custom football arm sleeves. That's what I'm going to do today. Um, again, it's going to be sublimation. Um, I'm using the Sawgrass 800, uh, which is back here, right there. Um... So basically, man, like, it's been, you know, doing these videos, you know, I'm, I'm still new to it, so I'm trying to learn it, but I want y'all to, as I'm learning, I want y'all to follow me through the journey, so before we get started, I want you to go ahead and um hit the subscribe button, and at the end of this video, I know you're going to like it, um, hit the like button, uh, tell a friend. So that they can tell a friend and, you know, everybody can enjoy some content that I'm putting out. Um, so what I did was, because I'm trying to make the videos not that long, I'm trying to keep them under 10 minutes. Um, and not, I guess not talk so much. Uh, and more so, so y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, a few, so a few things, so... I already did the design. I already did the layout of how I want it to be, how I want it to look. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I'm working with. So this is the arm sleeve here. Um, this is a small a, a, for little kids. Um, so this is the arm sleeve I'm using. I got this from Silky Socks. Um, so y'all should check them out. Um, uh, right now I'm doing a custom arm sleeve for a local football team. Um, so here's the design already done up already. Um, a lot, I, I, I did it, everything myself, you know, um, custom. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be working on today. Um, if it doesn't take long to do, I just decided to you know go ahead and I'll have already everything already printed out and ready so all I have to do is you know line it up right and press it whenever you're doing sublimation on fabrics like this you'll be at 400 degrees for 30 seconds um what you will need you will need this here I call it oven paper because you actually can use this in the oven when you're baking um this is so that none of the ink from uh from from your transfer gets on your press and you know then you go to press shirts and things like that or something else and then the ink that was that you had probably got on your press you know so you lay that flat down on your press first um and then after that it'll you know it's gonna look like this so it's gonna look like that on top of the press um you don't have to cover it you don't have to cover cover the you don't have to use a teflon sheet or nothing, nothing like that when you put your design on top of your your uh your, your 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 material at this moment the sleeve you don't have to put nothing on top of it you can just simply just put your design on it and line it up the way the way you want it um and once you got it lined up how you want it it's just a simple press for 30 seconds um I also like I'm gonna do more videos of course. Um one 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 of my videos I'm probably gonna do a tour. Um I actually could do a tour right now in this video. So you know I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just take you on a quick tour of what I have and what I do. Um I don't have a store, I'm operating out of my basement. Um it's enough space for me. Um so that's what I'm doing. My goal is to ultimately get a store because I think that that will probably generate more income um, by having a storefront because then people could just walk in and actually see what I do versus just going on Instagram, you know, uh, Facebook, stuff like that. And I am on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me at off the block underscore apparel. Everything spelled the regular way. Um, 
Again, it's off the block underscore apparel. Um, so just a quick tour before I press everything down. Um, so here, so here we have, I have a hat, I have my hat press here. Um, you know, for my hat, when I do hats and stuff like that, custom hats. I have my 15 by 15 heat press, um, but I'm soon about to upgrade that to a 16 by 20. Um, I have uh, operate off the cam uh, Cameo 3 right now. I may upgrade that. However, I'm, it's, it's fine. My motto is if it ain't broke, I don't need to fix it. But I may just get the Cameo 4 just to, you know, upgrade. Got my trusty laptop. The laptop is what I mainly do all my designs on, stuff like that. Um, it's just convenient. And then when I am creating, I can be comfortable at doing it. I don't have to sit in a chair. I actually lay down and do it. Um, and I also have my desktop, uh, you know, just to see stuff on there. And I mostly print from the desktop when I'm doing my cutter. Um, this right here is just a regular in-home printer, Espen. XP 440. Um, whenever people want, you know, memorial shirts, picture shirts, basically, um, I use this. Uh, I use Nina paper for that. Um, to me, that's the best paper. I mean, you may have something different. Um, and then my Sawgrass 800 sublimation printer. Um, I just, again, I haven't been doing it that long, but I think I've, you know, got it, got it together uh right here you know just inventory t-shirts sweatsuits um socks hats uh pretty much everything that i'll be press printing on and stuff like that um so that's my tour of my space um you know that's vinyl scrap vinyl uh for that um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get started uh, so first, like I said, we're going to line everything up and then we're going to press for 30 seconds. So just bear with me. Everything is lined up, so I'm going to bring it down, and it's for a 30 second press. And I'm going to do the entire sleeve. You know, in the beginning of the video, you seen that the whole sleeve was white. After we're done, the whole sleeve will be in color. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe to Off the Block Apparel. Um, also, follow me on Instagram, Off the Block underscore Apparel. Um, and like the video, leave comments. I love to see the comments, you know, maybe something I could do differently, what have you. So that's done, the first side is gonna be done. I'm gonna lift this up. Take this off. And then we're gonna just flip it. We're gonna flip it, I'm gonna leave it in the same spot. And then I'm gonna put the other, I'm gonna put the other side on here. This is hot. This one's right now is hot. Thirty seconds, and we'll have a completed arm sleeve. Uh, if you do go to my page, it will be on my page where you can view it and you know like it if you like it. Um, it'll be on my Instagram page. Um, but yeah, man, like I enjoy doing what I'll do. It actually relaxes me. It's, I enjoy it. It's fun. Um, and I make money doing it. Um, uh, started out as a hobby, but I continue to do it. Okay. So with the fit. 
Again, this is hot. You know, we have 400 degrees. Uh, but, ah, whew. So as y'all, mm, 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 mm. hot. So as y'all can see, this is the, the custom uh, sleeve uh, for, for a local football team, the Annapolis Panthers. Uh, it's probably backwards y'all way, but y'all see how the sleeve is one complete color. Um, and this is the back of it. So it'll go on the arm like this. I'm not going to put it on because it's for kids. So I'm not going to put it all the way on. Um, and there you go. Custom arm sleeve done by Off The Block Apparel. My name is Julian. I thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank y'all. Have a good, have a good one.